Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Sunday Morning Coffee with Lisa. I'm spiritual coach Lisa Hobb. It is Sunday, November 3rd, 2019. Thank you so much for joining me bright and early on this wonderful Sunday, very fall-like Sunday here on the East Coast of America. I hope all of you who do celebrate it had a wonderful Halloween. I did. And my Halloween was so wonderful that it led me to today's topic, which is detachment and why it works. Because detachment is what made my Halloween extra special this year. And what do I mean by that? Here's my story. For over two weeks before Halloween this year, the weather forecast called for rain. And some of you know who follow me or regular clients that Halloween is what I like to call my Christmas. Though I do celebrate Christmas in a very large way, I get very excited about Halloween. I look forward to it. October 1st, I'm fully into it. I usually would do a haunted house in my front yard. I don't make the kids come inside. I do everything on the outside. It usually includes screaming, a Halloween movie playing in the window, fog lights, animated decorations. There's even ghosts driving my car. And I really do it up. And it's... um, just a a wonderful to me. I love it. And I love that every year a parent will come by and a child will come by and tell me how grateful they are. And especially great, especially wonderful is, is that I've been doing this for quite a while now. And now the children that were children, (laughs) the children that were used to come as children are now adults bringing their children. So, wow, that's just amazing. And they and they they just thank me. And so it's it's just something I love to do. But it's a lot of hard work, and it it's more creative than anything. But it's also um, a lot of hard work setting it up and all of that. And it's a lot that I do myself. And so. However, this year, for about two weeks at least, the weather forecasters kept calling for rain on Halloween. And in any other year, that would be incredibly disappointing to me. But this year, I decided to just detach. I decided to enjoy Halloween for what it was meant to be, what it was going to become, and not let any forecast, any rain, any wayward trick-or-treaters, anything getting my way. But most especially what I did is that I detached from the outcome of the weather. Well, as the day got closer, the weather forecast got worse and worse, so much so that local towns decided to postpone Halloween for a night. And I have a very strong opinion about that. (laughs) Which, um, sorry about the morning voice there, Um, which I made known a little bit on our local pages. Um, But that's how bad it was going to be with wind and torrential rain and um, unpredictability. And so the day of, the day of, it didn't rain. Maybe a spit here and there. But for the most part, it was a beautiful fall evening. It was a perfect evening for Halloween trick-or-treating. I had a light breeze. It was cloudy, but it was very warm. It was in the 70s. I could wear short sleeves under my cape. 
<laughs> um, and I realized, I realized as I was enjoying this evening and getting mid 100s, um, on about 140 trick or treaters, um, as I was enjoying them, I realized how blessed, how grateful, how currently in my own life, life is working for me in wonderful ways. And I wondered to myself if the detachment that I had about the weather and the determination to have a wonderful Halloween, no matter what, wasn't what other Halloween hosts were doing as well in our neighborhood. And no, maybe I'm not necessarily saying that we changed the weather. I don't want to, you know, recently the presidential candidate, Marianne Williamson, I think she still is one, but in the throes of her campaign, she made a very important quote about um, a storm. A storm was not as bad as it was for- forecast to be. And she gave credit to those who had sent healing thoughts to it and talked about the power of our minds to change weather. And she heard a lot about that in a very um, negative way. Um, She really got unloaded on. However, she was correct. We do have the power as a united front to affect natural elements because all natural elements are made of energy. And so I stopped myself from taking credit for the good weather. It's not something I would imagine I would have done alone, but I have noticed that when I detach When I am not looking for what I desire, things tend to work out for me. And that this time included the weather. So I'm willing to include that in the energy field that we can affect. She was right, but to many people, she's a bit of a head of her time. And So, you, intrepid listener, (laughs) have the ability to affect your world in a positive way as well. You have the power to manifest whatever it is that you desire to manifest. But you can't do it by having a particular outcome that's black or white and then waiting, hoping, wishing, being determined to have it the way you would visualize or speak of it to happen. We are supposed to do our affirmations, uh, which are our I am statements. We are supposed to feel gratitude. We are uh, supposed to ask for whatever we desire. But then we have to step back and say, however it manifests to me, however it's meant to work out for my higher good and the higher good of all, that's what I will allow to happen. So I allowed Halloween to happen, however it wanted to happen, and I was going to enjoy it no matter what. And I'm happy to say it turned out perfect. And I know, I know without a doubt that if I had put all my hopes and dreams in that perfect weather, it would have rained cats and dogs. There would have been very forceful winds. 
less trick-or-treaters would have come. And that's just the way it's set up. When you intend and detach from when or how it arrives, you're going to get it. That's why they say, be careful what you wish for, because you'll get it. We humans like to, and some of our fellow men, they like to use statements like that, that are truth, and kind of always make it a negative. Um, Because there are people in this world that either want to have power by using such statements in a negative way, or people are naturally pessimistic, and they'll say it in a tone that says, be careful what you wish for, you might get it. When really it's, be careful what you wish for, you actually might get it. (laughs) So what we put out, we get back. And I detached from an expectation of how it should be and got better than I thought was going to happen because I was willing to take anything no matter what. I was going to have a Halloween that was wonderful, no matter what. So today, I encourage you. I encourage you to think about what you want, even write it down. And to affirm that you have it with affirmations. I am financially free. I am attracting everything that I desire in in its own divine timing and make sure at least five minutes a day to visualize what you'd like to have but then the rest of the day live your life in the moment knowing that you have manifested it physically and that it's on its way to showing up in your environment physically. You see, because the physical is always last. And once you ask for it, it energetically is yours. It's it's there. You may not see it, but it's there. But the physical is always last. So that's why it's so important to affirm it and affirm it at least five times each, the affirmations at least once a day because by affirming it you show faith, belief, emotion that it's yours and it can't help but arrive it can't help and the hardest areas for us you and I is to let go and allow in wealth and in love. I have so many people come into my office and they want to know when is love going to arrive? Or when is he going to ask me to marry him? When? 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 And by focusing on the when, you're actually holding back what you want to receive. So I always tell my clients, if it's in their path, which most of the time it is, in some way, shape, or form, love. Let it come. Detach. Live your life in the moment. Focus on happiness. Focus especially on happiness without them. And that the minute, at the very minute, that you have accomplished that, You have attracted them to you and they will arrive by your side or they will open up the ring box. It's the same with pregnancy. Detach from when. Detach from must have. Just ask for it and allow the universe to work for you. And it's the same with wealth. 
And wealth is maybe harder for some than love. Because we live in a world where well, we're the only species on the planet that's pay to be here. <laughs> um, everything has to be paid for. Home, food, shelter, gas, clothes. And while bartering or any exchange is wonderful, most of the small business owners in this world and l large companies don't take that as a form of exchange. They want to see money. And so we depend upon money to survive. And when you depend upon something to arrive, you tend to notice larger its lack of being there. Because you're focused on it more. And what you're focused on expands. So when you focus on lack of money, it expands. So the way to attract more money, the way to unstifle your income, the way to get yourself into the flow of abundance is to try as best as you can to not focus on what is missing but to focus on service to others focus on abundance focus on gratitude focus on happiness and you will see the doors and windows of abundance open up and I go through it myself. I just went through it recently where I stagnated myself. I felt my flow just stop when it came to abundance. And I went, uh-oh, you know what you're doing. You've been doing. Because it happens to be a time for me um, in October into November. Where there's a payoff of a bill, a large bill. property taxes are due. I happen to be going out of town uh, for work next week, so um, I will need travel expenses. I'll be uh, doing this podcast, by the way, on the road next week. So the, the acknowledgement of needing of material resources is on my mind. And because it's on my mind, even if I'm serving, I've noticed a bit more of me is looking at what am I getting back for the service right now, um, which is not normally so. And by doing that, by focusing on giving out of service to receive, I've actually stopped the receiving in a large way. So I'm working against myself. When, what is the, what the appropriate way to be? Mental, emotional, spiritual av attitude to have is to give in service with great love. Not meaning I say I do it for free, but giving out of great love of the ability to serve and then I will see multiply I will see multiplication of mag magnifying enlarging of what I'm giving out so yeah I'm doing it wrong lately but I know it and when and so I don't really I'm happy to say that I catch it pretty quickly nowadays and I get right to fixing it. Whereas perhaps like a lot of you in the past, it might be more of a way of life. Oh, I wish I'd 
win something or get a raise or, you know, it, focus on it maybe more of a way of life, whatever is happening. But now I know, I know without a doubt that I have the power. I have the power to manifest into my life whatever abundance I choose to have. I am unlimited. I am naturally a prosperous being, as you are as well. So when I noticed that I was stagnated, that everything had stopped, all the flow, I immediately went into overgiving. And what I mean by that, a small example is last evening I had an event and I let it go over because it was it was important to do um, and because I wanted to give a little bit more of myself I also gave more the event than than I advertised and wonderfully wonderfully I had a great group, so if any of you are listening, thank you again for coming. But literally, in the middle of the event, several of them said, we're signed up for next year already. It was that wonderful. It was that amazing. And so I gave more of myself willing, willing, willingly, joyfully, happily. And I prospered from it. I prospered from it. More so than I expected. So when you give, whether it be a smile, open a door, give to charity, help a co-worker, help a family member. Whenever you give, be in the moment, give with joy, value yourself always. So don't just give and give and give and burn out because then you're also not on the good side of receiving, on the prosperous side. You would just want to give with joy knowing that in a way of service you will be paid back. You will be in the flow of abundance. So it's so important to keep in mind especially because there are more than one, more than one of you. There is more than one of you that is wishing they had more money right now. And it's more than one of you that wishes they had more love. And it works in a way of health as well. It just worked for me too. Happy to say. Happy to say. <laughs> I tried it a new way of helping, of taking care of myself recently. I researched for my own benefit. I changed up my diet a bit, though I'll admit, with it being Halloween time, I have eaten more candy that perhaps is best for me. However, that's coming to an end. Um, (laughs) It it is. It's just a moment in time, okay? Um, But I tried new methods to assist in my health. But with a detachment from the outcome, it didn't have to happen. It didn't have to work. I actually had the mindset of, what do I, got, what do I have to lose? I'm just going to try this. What do I have to lose? I'll try that. And I've received results. They may be temporary results, results I don't know, but good ones, very good ones. If I had sat 
after implementing changes and waited for results had a certain expectation as to what they had to be thought about it a lot it probably wouldn't have worked out so well in my favor but I detached from what it had to be what had to happen and I just tried something new with a what do I have to lose Oftentimes, when I instantly manifest, all the time actually, when I instantly manifest, I'm completely detached. I'll usually just shrug my shoulders and say, well, that'd be nice. And then it comes immediately like this, like that. Because when I shrug and say, that'd be nice, I'm out of my own way. And I'm I'm out of the way of it coming to me. Another great example, and I'm for the sake of, because I'm a girl, I'm going to use girls as an example. You've gone out on a date with a young man, and it goes well, you think, in your mind and heart, and then you wait for the phone to ring. Are you... Or for the text to come. And you wait, and you wait, and you wait. It doesn't happen. Or maybe you're in a relationship with someone and they don't text or call as much as you'd like them to. The more you wait, the less likely they're going to contact you right away. Because the waiting has a heavier vibration that it actually is a block and that person will not understand why they're stalling on getting in touch with you they'll just know either that they want to stall or they'll know somehow some way that you're waiting for the call so that they have plenty of time But the minute you give up on them, now they're reaching out. The minute you let it go, the minute you let them go, now they're going to call or text. Because suddenly, they thought of you or missed you. Happens to me quite a bit. In my case, I actually feel them coming. It's like, why why are they on my mind? Oh, there they are. They'll pop in. And so um, I have that certain ability. And maybe you do as well, or you think of someone and then they call. That is your inner self knowing they're about, your inner intuition knowing that they're about to appear. Um, but that's a little bit separate. What I'm talking about is letting go of when they're going to call, letting go of what it can become, letting go of your expectations, not of what you deserve, but of what they should be doing. And when you let go of the expectations, it'll work out better for you, whether it inevitably ends up working out or not, because you will allow it naturally to happen rather than interfering. So detachment is literally the key to instant manifestation. It is the way to get it done. So it is so incredibly important. All you have to do is ask for what you desire and then know you have it and then live your life knowing that it will appear at the most divine time when all has lined up and it is perfect. We all have used detachment in our lives. Detachment is easier when we're not so emotionally invested. But if you can perfect 
detachment for those things that you are emotionally invested in, you will be a manifesting superhero. See what you can do to back up, detach, let go, be determined to be happy no matter what, and watch your world really line up for you. It has to. It's natural law. And I love that it is set up that way. I love that we're not puppets. That we have a part in the circle and the cycle of life with our intentions. With what we focus on. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So much for joining me this on this beautiful fall Sunday. Here, at least where I am here, it's beautiful in fall. I wanted to remind you that I am on YouTube, which for some of you are finding this recording on YouTube. Um, I am under entertainment for Lisa Hop, and I have meditations, a weekly angel message. I'm going to be also uh, posting very shortly more videos uh, separate from the weekly video. Mm, excuse me. Um, it's all kinds of things on there. So please uh, listen, subscribe, like, um, because I've, um, no, I really want to build a following. I do. Um, because the more people are following, the more people I can possibly serve. And that matters to me. Also, please be sure to visit my website, lisahop.com. And new this week, and as soon as my web server fixes itself, um, if it doesn't this week, I'm going to be calling. I'll put it on my website. But new this week, I am now offering hypnosis by MP4 that you can download. I am asking for a donation, the first one is called Command Healing. And it is about a 30-minute hypnosis. For any donation, I will send it to you. And um, it assists you in healing whatever it is that you wish to heal, whether it be physical, emotional, and even your mental thoughts and your self-esteem. It is not meant to replace of course, uh, treatment from a licensed professional, but um, it can really do wonderful work to restore and heal your body back to an earlier, more perfected state. And in some way, shape, or form, whether it's little or large, help you with healing. And as I said, it is, it is in various ways. So if you want to heal cancer, lungs, um, allergies, emotions, then this is the MP4 for you. So check it out. I have it right now on my Facebook business page under Spiritual Coach Lisa Hop. It will be a special page on my website shortly. I will be adding it. I will be adding hypnosis scripts to availability um, on the page and announcing them on Facebook. Uh, but for right now, it's just on the business Facebook page and I did announce it through my newsletter. And I do have an email list that I send out latest updates. And so please go to my website at the bottom of the homepage. You can click on to get email updates and then you receive such links and such news. And so, um, frankly speaking, this recording is for everyone. It, I actually um, used it all myself and I had wonderful results from it. And that's why I believe in it so much. 
Also know that you can get a channeled personalized message from me. There are various email things that I do as well as I do do private sessions in my office and telephone sessions too. So check me out, lisahop.com and also on my business uh, Facebook page under Spiritual Coach Lisa Hop. Thank you once again for joining me. Have a wonderful Sunday and a wonderful week.